Well, Kirk, how long have you been involved in harness racing? Uh, for about 20 odd years or more now, Jess, yeah. Driving initially, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We started off as a junior driver and went through the ranks here. How many horses do you have in work at the moment? Uh, about 30, yeah. That's about a nice team. And how many, uh, do you have any up-and-comers that we should keep an eye out for? Uh, got a, we had one, one last week, went quite nice, at best deal yet. And yeah, got a couple of two-year-olds coming along, so keep your fingers crossed. Yeah. Do you enjoy working with the young horses? Yeah, it's always the unknown with them, like the older ones you know how good they are and, you know, where the young ones you sort of got that bit of hope that they might be, you know, the next champion. <laughs> Is there one horse that stood out for you above all in the past that you would have loved to have trained? Well, there's been a few here, yeah, yeah. No, something like Cardigan Bay would be good. <laughs> Keeping it local too? Yeah, yeah, local product. Outside of harness racing, what do you like to do to relax? Oh, I like to sneak away to Queenstown and a couple of days here, just get away the hell out of it and, yeah, just bought a boat now, so do a bit of fishing would be good. Do you have much success catching them? No, I haven't had a go yet, so <laughs> better to find out. And what about your favourite TV show? Oh, I'm pretty keen on those Underbelly series, yeah. yeah. And what about favourite band? Oh, band, um, yeah, a bit of Country and Western, and Country and Western I'm pretty good with. <laughs> we'll see you in the uh, Golden Guitar series? No, 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 I can't sing. <laughs> so what are, what are the goals for you personally as a trainer in the future? Oh, we're just sort of battling away, and yeah, we're, we're fortunate to have a Group 1 winner at the Howard Bromack, and yeah, trying to find another one, Jess, yeah. Who are you, Kirk Larson? Great to catch up with him down south recently, and he's gone for Sheldaya. Uh, it is lining up against Gone Overboard in a race we're about to highlight, but uh, a good each-way chance was a winner on debut at Ascot Park on the 13th of December, so we thank... Kirk for passing on that information and wish him all the best for the holiday season and with his drives.